Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chung here. So today uh, I'm not going to talk about a specific problem. Instead, I want to talk about uh, how can we calculate angles be, uh, given two vectors. So why is that? Because you know earlier I think I uploaded a video regarding uh, a problem that's uh, that we'll be using this this technique, and I I feel like it's worth uh, sharing with you guys for those who still uh, finding it's a little more confusing about about this geometry problem okay so basically you know the, so this is the this is the uh, the problem okay by given like a two points let's say we have a p1 here right there's a p1 and then there's a, a p2 here okay so that's this is p2 p1 p2 so for many problems, you know, it's uh, we we with some we need to calculate the angles between those two points. So what do I mean? What 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 do I mean the angles here, right? So basically, the angle is basically the uh, the the angles, right? Comparing with the uh, with this horizontal line here, basically, you know, for example, this one here, I think this angle is like 30 degree here, okay, and then. If I have like another P2 somewhere here, right? Let's say there's a P2 here, and then so the angles between those between these two will be like will be like this one, something like 150. Okay, so and it's uh, basically we're we're calculating the angles counterclockwise from zero to to what to three and 355 degree here. Okay, and for, and it's a very useful technique for us to to know how to, how can we calculate the angles between two points. Okay, and you know, and now so that's the problem, right? So like we have a x one and the y one here, and then the the another the another point is like this, x two and y and y two. Okay, so we have uh, you know there's uh, like it's some ways we can we can calculate calculate the angles. I think the first one is the co the cosine right. So the cosine of the theta right. So cosine theta equals to what? Equals the uh, the dot uh, the dot product the dot product of this of the uh, of th those two points divided by the uh, by the uh, mm, by the length of these two points okay by the length of the uh, basically the l1 times l uh, length, uh, length two here that's the uh, that's the first uh, formula, right? Basically, we use the dot product, and then we have a length one and length two. So for length one, we have so what what does the length one have? So the length one equals to x one uh, square plus plus y one square, right? Uh, and then divide it, and and we do a, a square root. Okay, same thing for this one. Same thing for the uh, x two square plus y y two square. Okay, and for the for the dot product, I think it's so. This one is like x one uh, times y one, right? Oh, sorry, not not this one. Sorry, the uh, dot product is x one times x two plus y one times y two. Okay, I think. I think that's the dot product, if I if I remember correctly. So basically, that's how we define uh, do uh, define the the cosine, the cosine, and then and then after that, right? We we uh, we have like a a function in, in Python, so it's called math math dot cosine, right? And then we just pass this result to here. Then it can give us like the basically the radians, right? Basically, the, the radians are of that, but you know, 
same but if we only do that right i mean if we pass in like for the p1 and the p2 here let's say in this case if we only use the cosine here right and in, instead of the uh instead of 30 degrees it will give us instead of 150 it will also give us 30. okay that's the that, that that's the cosine so in the so in python there's another function called a cosine right so in that this will consider the uh, the negative uh coordinates in this case and so after this uh this uh a cosine right i mean we'll we'll have like a a value what's the the value is is a radiance basically it's not the angles yet so the radiance is in the in the range of negative pi to pi here okay and then with this values here to to for us to to convert this value to a to a, to angles we have to uh, do a times uh, uh 180 and then divide it by by the pi okay right because the uh, you know since we we have a we have a range here so divided by by pi here basically we have a how we have a because for pi it's a one pi you know for one pi it's like 180 degree here right that's pi right and we have a range of pi here so with this range in the pi we divide it by pi then we know how much how many percent we have in terms of 180 okay so that's how we get these things here and after that right i mean if, if we if we want to convert this negative num, negative values from because we could have a negative values here so we can have like a simple check here basically if the uh, if the pi if the value is the negative than zero and then we, we just do a we plus 30 uh, 360. so that's the that's the first way of doing the of getting the theta which is the angle but as you, as you guys can see this calculation is a bit annoying so we have to we have to uh, calculate the uh the length of this uh the length of 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 this uh, these two points and then we have to do a uh, dot product of those two points as well so you know there's another there's another like formula right so it's called a tangent right so the tangent is like this tangent theta so what does the tangent theta mean so this one is just like y divided by x and th this is y, this is x. Okay, so with the with the tangent, it's much easier for us to calculate the uh, the the theta, which is the angle here, right? So basically, all we need to do is just, is we just do a a y two minus uh, y one, and then we divide it by the uh, x two uh, minus y one. That's how we get the 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 length of the y and and x here, and Oh, and same thing here, right? Since we also need to want to consider uh, the negative values here. So we also, in Python, there's all, also like a A10 here, A tangent here. And then this, the, I mean, this method will just basically take the uh, this, this value here to give us the, uh, the angle. And we can just uh, convert it later on here. And yeah, so that's basically the, the concept behind uh, calculating the, the angles given two vectors here and i'll show you guys how can we uh do it in python right so let's do a quick uh test here so uh we have two points here right and like i said you know uh, so i'm in the in the in the demo here i'm going to use the the ten uh the tangible uh built-in function here so you know in python you know it's in the under the math library right so in Python, there's a like a 10, 10, right? But there's also like another one called a 10, 2. So basically the difference between the a 10 and a 10, 2 is that, you know, for a 10, we have to do a Y divided by X, right? And for a 10, 2, it just, uh, it just get, received two parameters, basically the Y and an X. Okay. And the reason being is that, you know, if we do a a 10, a 10 here, so we have to uh, do a, y divided by x, right? So if the x is zero, then this thing basically will throw an arrow. That that's why if we uh, it's always uh, better to use a102 because this a102 can 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 handle this uh, x uh, zero case, 
So basically, this one's just going to be a, a the y and x, right? So the first one is p, p two y minus p two, oh sorry, p one y, right? So basically, that's the the first parameter is the y, okay? And then second one is the x. So the x is similar thing, p two zero minus p p one zero, okay? Yeah. So let's print these things out. Let's see what's to what what we have here, right? So we have, right, so what, let's say, what do we have here? We have like, uh, P1 is one, one, right? That's the, this is P1. And P2 is, is one and zero. So this, this is a P2. So what's going to, what's going to be the value here, right? So for P1 and P2, right? So comparing with this, like, if we have like, uh, have this one as a base, so here should be like, 270 degree, right? Because we are doing this. So, okay. We're doing like from here to here, which is 270. And let's try to uh, print, the, run the code here. As you guys can see, we have a one point, negative 1.5 something. Remember, so this thing give us like the, the pi, right? Give us like a range, <clears throat> a range uh, in negative pi to to positive pi okay and like i said so for us to to convert this thing to a to angles we just need to do what we have we have we just need to do divided by pi right so in python there's also like a value which is the pi which is a 3.114 something right and then we divide it by 180 Okay, because we want to get the percentage out of the pi and then we just times the 180 because one pi pi stands for 180. Okay. Cool. As you guys can see, we have a negative 90 here, right? That's basically since this is like a negative value, that's why we have a negative. And like I said, you know, uh, equals to uh Okay, uh, let me try to do this. Okay, and then, like I said, if the original value is like negative, we just uh, do a angle, right? It's smaller than zero. Like I said, if you want to convert it to a, to a positive one, we just do this, right? Angle. New angle, okay. We'll just do this, right? Uh, original angle plus 360. So here I'm going to print original angle, and also I'm going to print the uh, the new angle, so that you guys can can have a better look at it so let's me let me try to run it so, so as you guys can see the original angle uh, before the before this like uh negative handling here is ne is negative 90 and after we uh, plus 360 we have 270 basically that's how we using this tangent tangent built-in function to calculate the angles between two points we can do a few uh, like other uh tests here right it doesn't uh so we, we have this one, how about the one, 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 two, two. So for one, one, two, two here, this is one, right? P1 and this is P and the P2. So what's the angle of, of this two? Let's, let's run it. Okay. 45, right? Because this is 45. So now two, one. So what's this? 90. Uh, sorry. Two, one. Sorry. Okay. So two, one is, is here. Here. That's that's zero because that's zero point. That's zero angle. One two is ninety. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So I think that's how we uh, calculate the uh, the angles uh, given two vectors in in Python. I mean, uh, you. I mean, you could have used the the a cosine to calculate. You will get the same result. But as you guys can see, the tangent function is much easier, and it has 
better performance because we don't have to do that kind of uh, square root stuff. You know, that's sometimes it take, will take a longer time. And then we just do a conversion to a, to 180. Cool. Yeah. Let me know if you guys still have some, some questions. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Stay tuned. See you guys soon. Yeah. Bye-bye.